Hey guys, it's your friend Moonhorse, and it's time to read more stories. I don't know why I was singing. So let's do that. It's from Reddit user Chili Vapor. I know you. Hot shit nearly gets hit. Hey Moonhorse. Hello. First off, thanks for reading my last story. I nearly screamed when I saw you did it. Well, I'm happy that it can make you that happy. That's awesome. This time I'll go with a college story of a dumb guy in art class that was sexually harassing women and I'm the only one who did something about it. I'm not really a neckbeard, but you said before you like all kinds of stories. I do. Holy shit, this guy sounds like he's going to be a fucking winner. The cast. Myself. Still small and ready to brawl. Me being a woman is relevant to the story. The creep. Asshole of the story. Classmates 1 and 2. Minor relevancy, but part of it nonetheless. This is my second year of college. I got through my general education and was able to fully concentrate on art classes for my degree. It was a very small art department and the majority of folks in it were there to get their liberal arts credits out of the way. I was one of the few that took classes seriously as it was our degree, but some non-art majors thought art classes are easy and flaunted their subpar work. I don't like tooting my own horn, but by the time I got into these classes, I already had about six years of taking my art seriously from junior high and high schools. My skill level is already higher than most of my classmates. Despite that, I was always humble and asking for critique from teachers and fellow classmates. So, I was known as chill and nice. Even so, I still had a temper, but that never really surfaced much as... I was too concentrated on every art project we did. Everyone tended to like my work, and I always gave honest but supportive feedback on theirs. Creep was the type of guy that thought he was hot shit and amazing at art. And to his credit, he was pretty good. Not as good as he thought, but I wouldn't totally knock his work. He didn't look or smell gross or anything like that, he's just kind of an average, stout kind of guy. Thing is, he's a huge fucking asshole. Our teacher required us to walk away from our canvases now and then to clear our minds during projects since the classes were two hours long. And he'd walk by mine and whine about how I made him feel inadequate because it's better. I don't mind folks complimenting me, but his comments were usually pretty backhanded. I ignored him though, I had no time for his shit. Usually I have my headphones in during projects so I could concentrate, but it was mostly so people wouldn't talk to me on certain days when I was having a particularly bad bouts of depression, and they weren't even really playing music. I'd chat with people sometimes, mainly classmates one and two who are both women. Like I said before, everyone saw me as nice. This was the day that everyone kind of shat themselves because I lost my shit. I don't know what exactly got up Creep's ass that day, but he decided it would be a good idea to start harassing the women in class. We're all in a circle at our easels to surround the still life that we're working on. Everyone would walk around the class during their breaks. When he was walking, he started tugging the women's hair and grunting, Ugh, you like that, don't you? <laughs> Ew. But all the ladies didn't want to seem like a party pooper, so they just kind of nervously laugh it off. To preface this, I was, uh, I was molested as a child. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I don't take this kind of shit lightly at all. It's one of the reasons I have internal anger issues, so it's caused me to become super protective of other people when I see them getting harassed. My headphones were in, but no music. So once he rounded towards me, classmates one and two... He tugged their hair as well. Yet again, they laughed it off nervously, and my brain hadn't quite processed what was happening because I was dumbfounded he was actually doing this. Right when he started to near me, I could see in his eyes that he was stupidly ready to harass me. So I pulled my headphones off and got up fast and sent my chair flying into a wall nearby. I immediately got in his face and backed him up on the wall and just started shouting at him. I will fucking kill you if you touch me or anyone else here again. Why are you so mad? It's just a joke. Try it again, and I'll have my fist breaking your fucking teeth. He got really steamed about this. He both outweighed me and was taller, but decided against a fight and storms out of class. 
I noticed our teacher was in the doorway and was grinning from ear to ear because she hated this guy too. She would have stopped it, but only got there at the end of the confrontation. I go to pick up my chair and sit back down to get back to work as if nothing happened. The entire classroom is dead quiet. Classmates 1 and 2 are staring at me with wide eyes and jaws dropped. It looked like they were choosing their words very carefully before talking to me. Are you okay? Yeah, fine, I just... I don't play with that shit. You sure? You kinda... you kinda blew up. Yeah, I don't play with that shit. You ain't gonna try it again, I assure you. I calmly popped my headphones back in and got right back to work while everyone else kind of averted eye contact with me for the rest of the day. I'm sure it's unnerving to see a suddenly normally chill person go from 0 to 100 and then right back to 0 in the span of 30 seconds, but it's nothing to me. The next day everyone's back to talking to me and just glad my wrath would not be directed at any of them because I explained that as long as they didn't try shit like that, it's all good. Peace had returned to the art department once again. Creep ended up on a very strange terms with me. I'm not quite sure how it happened, but it just did. Me nearly kicking his ass ended with him having some weird respect for me, and he didn't harass anyone else for the remainder of the time that I was attending college. He'd kind of start up, but as soon as I was in sight, he'd stop his bullshit and eventually stopped altogether. He would talk to me like a normal person and ask for critique, which I would give offhandedly. But it was obvious that if he ever did try something again, I'd grab a sculpture and cave his face in. I never really fought him. I didn't want to get kicked out of school because, as we all know, that shit's expensive here in the U.S. Honestly, it probably would have been fine since I didn't even finish my degree anyway. I'm just glad my threats and take-no-shit attitude worked on his dumb ass to get his shit together and cut the gross nonsense out. I know you'd like for me to have punched this guy, and same in the previous story, but honestly, it's good that I never actually fought him. From the number of times I've nearly gotten into fights, I probably have a huge police record by now from going all deathmatch style on people. Trust me though, I'm always ready for a fight because I'm still short and angry, but I use art to calm myself down. Well, honestly, I'm quite proud of you. Not only did you restrain yourself before you made any kind of rash decisions, you stopped this gross sexist little motherfucker from getting worse, we hope. He certainly wasn't worse around you. He certainly learned how to shut his fucking mouth and act like an adult. We can only hope that he did that forever and not just because of that class and just because you were there. But, you know, as the old saying goes, wish in one hand, shit in the other, and see which one gets filled faster. But I am proud of you. That was honestly a really fucking... That was a really good confrontation, and I'm glad that you decided not to take shit from that guy, and I'm sorry that you had to go through all the things that you did, because that's fucked up. But you sound like a pretty awesome person to me, and Moonhorse is a good judge of character. And that goes for the rest of you, because I think you're all fucking awesome too. Little compliment before we do the outro. Okay, outro time. So, if you would like to send me a story, you can do that, but go into Moonhorse Stories. I was, I was going for like a rhyme, like a song thing, but it didn't meter out right. R slash Moon Horse Story is what I'm saying, because it wouldn't have... Anyway, so you can do that, and if you'd like to keep the lights on in this place, you can do that by donating to Patreon or by going to the merch store. I'm pointing as if you can see those things. I don't know why, but you can do that, and all the links to that and more stuff is in the description down below. Make sure to check it out. I love you guys. Always. And I'll see you in the next episode. I have no idea why I'm talking like this. Okay. Goodbye.